One cable can do absolutely everything with this new protocol called NDI. It is going to change your world. It is working smarter and not harder, encapsulated in just this one thing. You're going to need to watch this. Roll titles and we'll see you on the other side. Hey, welcome to the Pro Tips. I'm Andy Edmondson. And today, today we're going to talk about NDI. I am absolutely pumped about this because I've been using this for a long time, but it's only just started to get traction and it is absolutely going to change the way that you work. Here we work smarter and not harder. That is what Digi Pro Tips is all about. And NDI, NDI literally encapsulates all of that and just blows your mind with what it can do. Make sure you watch this video all the way through because I'm going to be talking about so many different ways that this applies to you, whether you are a gaming streamer, whether you want to strip all the cables that you run from your cameras in your studio, whether you want to stream from your Adobe Premiere timeline, whether you want to use wireless cameras, whether you want to use your phone as wireless cameras through like OBS or Wirecast. There's so many different things that I'm going to talk about in this. So strap yourselves in because this is going to be an in-depth one and it is going to change your world. Trust me. Okay, so what am I blabbering on about? So basically, you know what HDMI cables are, you know what SDI cables are. Well, this isn't a cable, so forget all of that. But it is essentially a cable, just not in a physical term. Yes, you can use an ethernet cable in conjunction with NDI, but NDI is its own thing that works purely on your local area network through your computer. So yeah, it's not really a cable, but I don't really know how else to describe it. It stands for Network Device Interface. That doesn't really mean a lot to you right now, but what it actually means is that everything that it does, that's data, that's video, that's audio, it's tally, it's uh, PTZ camera moving uh, positions. It is all of it, absolutely everything that you need going through one single interface and that is through your internet connection but it's your local area internet connection it's not even like the actual internet so what ndi enables you to do is it enables you to get rid of like all your capture hardware that you used to use it gets rid of sdi cables it gets rid of hdmi cables so NDI was created by NewTek, who make the TriCaster vision mixing systems that we use every day and have been around for a long time. Now, NDI has been used on those systems for quite a number of years, but it was only at IBC 2015 that they actually unveiled NDI to the world as a, like an open source platform with an SD, SDK. It's not open source, it's got an SDK. They still own the proprietary software. That's how powerful this is. They want people to take it and just push it even further. So from that point onwards, it's just got stronger and stronger and stronger. If you go to ndi.tv, you can download a package called NDI Tools. Now you can get that for Windows and you can get that for Mac. The Mac side of things has less applications inside of it than the Windows one, primarily because NewTek and the TriCaster systems work off Windows architecture, not Mac. That doesn't mean to say that there aren't third party applications out there for Mac that do the same thing as Windows and some do even better. But whichever platform you're on, download that free tools package because we're going to use one application inside of it right now to show you how powerful NDI is and it's free, just this one thing. So inside of that package, you have an application called Scan Converter. You want to install that and that's on Windows or Mac. It's the same thing. You want to install that and then also install on Windows Studio Monitor or on Mac Video Monitor. Now, Scan Converter is a capture software. It is like a, a capture card, but inside of an app. You can capture any application that you are currently running, or you can capture the whole desktop of your computer and you can send it to wherever you want. It can be on another computer on the same network. It can be another computer on a different connect network connected via VPN. You can literally send it wherever you want and then you can use that to record or to stream or 
whatever you can imagine effectively. So open up Scan Converter and just choose your desktop or choose an application you have running. Then, if you have another computer, then open up video monitor or studio monitor on that. But if you've just got this one computer, then still open it up on there. Open up studio monitor or video monitor, and then you can choose, say you're on a video monitor, go file, and then choose your computer name and you will see scan converter as an option there. That means scan converter immediately is sending that captured desktop or application to an NDI destination, which is the studio or video monitor. So right there, you can see what this is capable of. And you'll notice that there is pretty much zero latency. They work within like less than two frames worth of delay between source and destination. You can, you can get more delay than that on standard cameras and capture cards. This is incredible. This really, really is incredible. So what do you need to be able to run NDI effectively? Well, you actually only just need a computer and you don't even need to have that higher spec computer and at least a one gigabit ethernet connection. Now, new techs say that you can run pretty much up to about between six to 10 different NDI source streams through a one gigabit ethernet connection, depending on your computer um, hardware on a 10 gigabit ethernet connection, that goes up at least tenfold. So you could have up to a hundred different NDI sources being streamed out to different destinations. Computer wise, it uses a, like a minuscule amount of your CPU to run these. That's why you can run so many on just one computer and just one gigabit ethernet connection. That's how well they've crafted this code um, and this protocol. Like this is why it's game changing because you can use old hardware and do new modern technology with it. You're probably now thinking, right, gaming PC, streaming, how can I link the two? Well, it's really, really simple. And this is probably where most of you are gonna be like, come on, come on, what have we got here? OBS, which is like a platform that everybody uses for gaming streams, because it's free and it's open source. Go and download the latest build of OBS. All you need to do is you need to add a new source, go to NDI source as one of those drop downs, and there you'll have a UI that pops up and you can choose Scan Converter as your NDI source running to OBS as the NDI destination. You can then stream that wherever you want, or you can record it using OBS. That means if you have Scan Converter on your gaming PC, capturing your game, you can then send that to your streaming PC if you use a two PC setup and not have to worry about using resources on your gaming PC to stream at the same time. That right there, that right there is gonna change a lot of people's worlds in gaming like vlogging sphere. If you don't have two PCs, then it's still only using a very small amount of your CPU to do the streaming, it's not gonna have as big an effect as if you were using a capture card, for, for example, to capture the gaming and then stream that out. So that right there, that's how you can utilize it with OBS right now, just by getting the free package from NDI Tools, installing Scan Converter and using the free OBS NDI um, setup. That's it, right there. You've cut costs, you're working smarter and not harder. But um, I'm not gonna finish there. That, that's just kind of like, the beginnings of where this can go. Say that you have old cameras that use SDI or HDMI connections into your into your vision mixer, into your computer um, for you to stream out or record. You can now change those to NDI and have even more coming in. So you can use old cameras, new cameras, whatever it is, you can get converter boxes, I can show you these like New Tech Spark or the Bird Dogs that convert your SDI HDMI into a NDI stream out as a source, which means that you can connect an unlimited amount potentially of these cameras to your vision mixer, to your computer, you know, to, to OBS, to Wirecast, to vMix. You can have them all coming in and you can stream all of those out or you can record them. 
You can also get PTZ cameras from Nutec or from other third party manufacturers that just have one ethernet cord to power video, audio, tally, and move the PTZ. That all of that just goes through one cable. And then the, it's, you know, that is a NDI source in itself, just this PTZ. And we've used those in the past um, with the TriCaster systems and they work fantastically. And that frees you up then for your other SCI inputs for physical cameras as well. Another big draw, if you're working in the studio environment, if or if you are a designer, like a motion designer, send your motion graphics, or even if you're a news editor and you send your news packages off to the studio as soon as they're, you know, as soon as they're built, but you might have turnaround time and everything. You can now get an NDI plugin for Adobe that is completely free. It's in the NDI tools package that we talked about earlier. Install that and that enables you to send your Premiere Pro timeline or your After Effects timeline to any NDI destination. So you can have your TriCaster pick up your Premiere Pro timeline or your After Effects timeline and the editor can just play it and it will play instantly or you can have a lower third come up um, from After Effects without actually having to have it on your system. It's just coming through the network with Alpha Channel as well. You can see like this is just literally game changing. It's so incredible. And this is just the beginning. You know, yes, it's been around for a couple of years, but they've only just got to the crux of what this can do. They're now saying with version four that you can record files that are encoded in NDI and edit with them straight away. So you don't need it to finish even like recording the video. You can edit straight from the NDI stream. So as soon as you've started sending it, you can start editing it as a package, which then could go back out to the studio. It's there's so many different ways. You've just got to think about how imaginative you can get with this. The next thing, and one of the last things I'm going to leave you with, because there's so much to take in here, is that you can now use your smartphone as an NDI camera as well. You can get the NDI cam app from Mark Gilbert, which is part of the Sienna.tv. Check that out because that's where all the Mac apps are instead of the Windows. Um, and you can also get direct from Nutec, the NDI HX camera. Even OBS has their own NDI cam app in the uh, Apple store. Those allow your phone to send via Wi-Fi, or you can even get a dongle to go into your phone to connect via hardwired ethernet to send your camera from your phone so you're incredibly mobile and send it as an NDI source. There's so many ways that you could use that that it, it's just, it's hard to put, even put into words. So the main things to take away from this right now are go to ndi.tv, download the NDI tools package for free, Download OBS if you're a gamer and you want to start streaming and you just didn't know how to go about it because this is all free. Download the um, NDI tools package and install for Adobe so that you can start playing with that. And basically just start thinking of different ways that you can use this and there will be a way that you can because NDI is going to change how we work going forwards because it's simple, because it uses hardly any computer resources, it uses hardly any network resources, there's no cabling, it's just freeing. It's working smarter and not harder, and that's why we love it so much. I'm gonna bring you more updates about NDI and different ways that you can use it, different ways you can implement it in your workflows. And that's why you need to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, we shall see you in the next video.